Welcome to my channel, Outspoken Samantha. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. On my channel, I like to give my opinion and perspective on things that are happening today, things that I think actually matter to everyday people, especially those of us trying to raise kids in the insanity known as today's society. Please like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below and share it with others. Also, be sure you are subscribed. All of these things help me to grow my channel and hopefully reach more people that value logic, reason, and sanity. Also, be sure to find me on Rumble under Outspoken Samantha in the event that YouTube decides I have violated their communist, I mean, community standards, and chooses to kick me off their platform forever. That being said, let's get into today's topic. Recently, a video went viral that has just been sitting in the pit of my stomach since I watched it. It is very difficult to watch. I have seen so many videos like this recently of just the violence that is happening in schools, kids just beating the crap out of each other for no reason. I think there's a lot of things that are contributing to this problem. What breaks my heart is just how I feel like kids used to be filled with so much more light and so much more hope than they are now. I know that we all experienced bullies as kids in schools. It was something that I experienced as a kid, being bullied relentlessly, especially in my elementary school years. It's not a new thing. But what's taken over now is so much more beyond that. I see kids that are just so frustrated and so angry and so lost. We can't ignore the fact that the world our kids are growing up in right now is so vastly different than the world that I grew up in, that the world that most of us grew up in 20, 30 years ago. The fact that what is happening in the world, the division and the animosity and the hostility going on between adults is having this effect on the way kids are growing up, an effect on their mental health, effect on how they view their peers. This video that I saw is really hard to watch. It happened on a school bus where there's this little girl, you can see her sitting in the seat, and there's all this chaos going on, and these kids are just like throwing punches at each other. And at one point, the biggest kid, I thought this kid was like 16, 17 years old. He's huge. And he just starts wailing on this little girl. Come to find out she's nine years old. She's in third grade. And this kid is just punching her relentlessly. I have seen a lot of these school fights videos and it is so heartbreaking to watch. Usually you see teenage girls against teenage girls and you see teenage boys against teenage boys or you see a lot of teenage students fighting against their teachers and it doesn't make it any better. It's just the fact that this huge kid is wailing on this little girl and I have a little girl she's almost seven years old and I think that's why this hit just so much closer to home but it's just a testament to the fact that this is not getting any better that this is getting so much worse I will show you the clip it's really hard to watch it's only about 20 seconds long so if you want to stop and fast forward 20 seconds just so you don't have to watch it we'll talk about it afterwards <laughs> I grew up with a twin sister and an older brother. He was only 17 months older than us, so we were very close in age, and of course there was a lot of conflict and fighting as happens with siblings. My sister and I were much more giggly and rambunctious and hyper, whereas my brother was a much more quiet person. He wasn't a rambunctious boy, you know, this rough and tumble kind of boy that, you know, we typically expect boys to be. I have two boys, they are much more like that. He was much more quiet. He was also a big kid. When he was 13, 14 years old in seventh and eighth grade, he was taller than all of the students and most of the teachers. In adulthood, he grew to be six foot six. So he was big. And despite the fact that I know that my sister and I annoyed the crap out of him at times, I'm sure he would have just liked to... My dad taught him 
you never hit girls ever under any circumstances you never ever lay your hands on a girl on a woman at any time boys are bigger they are stronger they have testosterone running through their bodies and they are much more prone to anger and lashing out physically which is why they need to be raised with boundaries with expectations and with an example of somebody who shows them how to treat women and also the fact that those things that they are that are innate in them can be used for the benefit of society can be used to protect people that are weaker than them and with my two boys who are 10 and almost 12 years old they have a little sister and we are raising them the same way i know that she gets on their nerves i know that she can be obnoxious but we are telling them we are raising them and showing them and my husband is showing them that you never lay your hands on a girl ever you never ever physically retaliate against a girl for any reason back to the video that we saw i don't know what happened with this situation i don't know why it unfolded the way that it did i don't know why this huge teenage kid snapped in the way that he did and what led him to absolutely lose control because clearly he lost control the fact that this is happening and things like it are happening so much more frequently I have a few guesses as to what could be contributing to the problem. First, we need to talk about this ideology of diversity, equity, and inclusion. It is something that has been infused into our education system over the last several decades, and I know that it is packaged and branded as something that's supposed to be positive and teach inclusivity and acceptance of diversity and all these things. What it does is actually the opposite. It reduces people to nothing but their skin color. If you have a darker skin color, then you are oppressed. If you are a lighter skin color, then you are the oppressor. And in this ideology, it essentially tells you that these are innate qualities that you cannot change, that you are irredeemable from being this kind of person. The fact that it is having on kids is that they are not seeing each other as human beings anymore. They are only seeing each other as their skin colors and these negative qualities that come from being a particular color. And it's really sad to see kids be so psychologically harmed by this ideology because kids as we know tend to be the most accepting and the most inclusive already and they're being exposed to and driven by this ideology that is destroying that another contributing factor i would say is the fact that as a society we have gotten so much more selfish everything is about self-care and self-love and the most important person in my decision making process is me and people are not thinking about the consequences consequences of their behavior or their, deci their decisions or the impact that those decisions are having on the people around them, even if those people around them are their own children. I would guarantee that this kid, this big 14-year-old kid, has seen this behavior before. I am sure I would bet money on the fact that he has seen abuse, that he has seen a man in his life beat up a woman, whether it be his mom or a caregiver. I would guarantee that this is something that has become normal to him. We also have to acknowledge the destruction of the home and of the family unit and the devastating effect that this has had on our kids and on the future generation. I know that the left likes to say that these things are just a social construct and the only reason that people would form their home in this way is because society has told them that this is what is normal. That's a bunch of crap honestly. Um, kids need a stable environment and the left wants to tell you that all they need is a roof over their heads and whatever happens under that roof and in that environment doesn't really matter. That kids will thrive in any environment that we give them and I think that we're seeing in real time how false that is. Kids need positivity. They need strength. They need stability. They need reassurance. They also need boundaries and restrictions and consequences. And when you have a strong family unit in the home, those are the things that they are going to learn. If they don't have that, it's not that those spaces and those holes in their development and their growth are going to remain empty. It's that they will be filled with whatever the environment around them gives them, whether it be the world, whether it be TikTok or whatever it is, or their school environment or their peers. We have got to make better decisions as adults for our kids and make decisions based on their well-being and be willing to make sacrifices and willing to put them first because that is what ultimately is going to start solving these problems. When they see care and love demonstrated in their home, they are more likely to bring that care and love to their school environment, to their friends, and to their peers. I did see in a follow-up report that this little girl is okay for the most part physically, um, which I'm really grateful to see because honestly, 
this kid could have easily killed her, could have easily caused permanent brain damage, could, could have easily cracked her skull or caused a brain bleed or any number of things. I'm so grateful to hear that she is okay. Uh, there's a mom out there. Her name is Jenny. Uh, she speaks to CBS Miami. It's a station down in Miami, Florida. Uh, she tells them that it was her nine-year-old daughter and her 10-year-old son who were assaulted on that bus. She says, physically, Tucker, tonight they are mostly okay. But she acknowledges that they are obviously traumatized. You know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Please like this video, share it with others. Also, be sure you are subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.